All right, so we're going to be answering this question right here. They say V is a, this is, I usually write this as matrix uh, mat two by two, but this is going to be a two by two matrix. They're telling us is the vector space is a, the set of two by two matrices. So that's a little bit strange. Uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, they say L is a linear transformation. Well, they don't say it's a linear transformation, but it's going to be because we're multiplying by a matrix. And it's going to be defined by, over here, we're going to be multiplying on the left by that 2x2 two two matrix. And it's a little weird because now our vector is also a 2x2 two two matrix. So we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm going to keep reading. It says the image of a spanning set is a spanning set for the image. So we'll worry about what in the world that's going to mean a little bit later. I want to get down. Here's a word I don't know. Well, I know what it is, but you probably don't. Kernel or cur. And down here, ran or range. So what in the heck is cur? So what we're going to do is use a search. And we're going to go, we'll go linear algebra. I could spell linear algebra cur. Let's do cur x. Let's see what comes up. Oh, look at that kernel. Okay, so let's check out. Wikipedia is one of the better references. General Google search usually is pretty good, but I like the Wikipedia versions. I've edited a few of them myself. All right, so in mathematics, more specific linear algebra and functional analysis. Sounds like a scary word, but that's okay. The kernel, also known as a null space, oh, that's more familiar, of a linear map between two vector spaces is a set of all elements of V. And we look at this, V is in the domain, so it's going from V to W. So it's every element in the domain that has a property that L of V equals zero. So we're going to use this definition right here. So I hope I've convinced you definitions are important by now. If you don't know definitions, you have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, so, and zero, of course, denotes a zero vector, obviously, in W. Uh, so the set builder notation, I think, is the most useful one right here. So I'm going to use this set builder right here. And there's going to be a range also. So let's go to another tab and I'll just do ran x. Projection. All right. So it might be rank, but it's actually going to be range in this case. That's not really what I wanted. Projection. All right, this is just going to be the range. So we're actually going to use the hint in the problem for that. All right, so I'm going to pause it here because I'm about to start writing. And we'll continue in the next video.